I'm Charlotte. And I'm Sarah. And we're, we're the, the Command, Command Sisters. Sisters. And you're watching Celebrity Interviews. And this is an interview for Jacqueline of Celebrity Interviews. I have always loved, loved, loved singing when I was really little. But when we started actually properly going out and singing at different events, I was probably six and my sister was nine. Well, we've both been taking piano since we were in about kindergarten, so we've been doing that for a long time. For me, I started guitar about three and a half years ago. Mm -hmm. And how I started guitar, I started guitar when I was around eight, and then I quit because I didn't like guitar at all. Because <laughs> I had to sit down and practice, and it was so hard, and your fingers hurt. And then I noticed around when my sister was kind of 13-ish, she was starting to get really good. So I was like, well, I got a little bit competitive. <laughs> So then I wanted to learn guitar, so then I started guitar back then, I think I was around the 11, kind of around there, and then eventually I started to pick up the mandolin, and things just kept going, and now I like to try out all instruments. Mm -hmm. She's my, my inspiration. inspiration. No, really, you are. Yeah, you are. Yeah. You are. Um, I think our favorite part about singing and performing is when you look out into the audience and you really see them connecting to the song. Um, also when like somebody comes up to you after and they tell you that the song uh, made them feel a certain way and it just really means a lot, especially for like original songs which we always play. This is a really hard question because we both have different favorite places we played at. I'm going to have to say probably the Edmonton Folk Fest finale, all the artists got up on the stage and all of the volunteers got up and behind the artists and they sang Four Strong Winds and there was about 20,000 people on the uh, audience holding a little candle. The CBC uh, benefit concert for mm -hmm. Slave Lake, our hometown, which uh, burned down and there was about 2,000 people there and that was absolutely amazing. It was so cool. And they broadcasted it <laughs> nationally. nationally about eight times, I think. We will both probably have to say the Grand Ole Opry because there's been so many talented people and the first time we went to Nashville we actually got to go there and we got to have a tour and it was so incredible and it was really inspiring so if we had to choose one place that would probably be it. Bradley. Well, we are actually down in Nashville right now recording. Our album should be done uh, definitely before the end of the year. Um, we're not really sure when we're going to release it, but uh, we have a publishing slash production deal down here in Nashville um, with a guy named David Malloy, and he has written or produced 41 number one hit songs. And so uh, we're really excited for the album to come out, um, and we'll let y'all know when it's ready. You know what, if you really know in your heart that it's what you want to do, that's all that matters and if you have the drive to do it, that's another thing that also matters because when I was young, I was in this competition when I was about 8 and I, it was a finale, I've gone to the finale and I completely forgot the words and I just stood up on stage like <laughs> and yeah, so I didn't win first, second, or third, but it shows that if you really like doing something, you just gotta keep working hard at it, don't give up, and you'll do it. Cake Boss! Yep, we love the show. It's Cake rad. Boss. It's, it's awesome. Yeah. It's about cakes and a boss that <laughs> makes cakes and sells them. It's the best show. Cake, Cake Boss! Because then we can make cakes! and be the boss and eat them and eat them and sell them and make money I really like the King's Speech and I think my favorite movie right now would probably be Inception King's Speech and Avatar are probably my other two favorites but right now Inception is probably my most favorite the last movie that I saw was The Help the last movie that I saw, I really wanted to go to Transformers, but my friend didn't really, really didn't want to go to that movie, so the only movie that was there was Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> so I have to admit, I did go to the Winnie the Pooh, but it was pretty awesome and it brought back many childhood memories. Hmm. 
Hmm, this is a hard question. Yeah, my favorite is probably Ariel. I have always loved Jasmine the most. Yeah. My, my sister. sister. Aww. My favorite place to eat would probably be Walkbox. Um, my favorite place to eat, I guess you can have muffins there. I don't really know if it's like a, a dining place, but it, I guess it would be Starbucks. Yep, we do. We have two dogs. Two dogs. One really, really small one and one medium one. One barks a lot. Her name is Angel. Yeah, she's a miniature schnauzer. And she's a miniature schnauzer, and she's not an angel, but the other one's name is Tuffy. And she's really nice. Kind of messed up names. Yeah, Tuffy is a multi-poo. She's very cute. Yeah. Oh my gosh, my total, like, soundtrack in my life probably be Party Rock Anthem. Because her life is a party every, every day. Every day I'm shuffling. Okay, so my all-time favorite quote is by Milton Berle, and it's, I'd rather be a could be if I cannot be an R, because a could be is a maybe who is reaching for a star. And I'd rather be a has been than a might have been by far, for a might have been has never been, but a has been was once an R. Yeah. 